Actually speaking, Krishna and Arjun are not separate. Arjun is the illusioned and confused mind. Krishna is the center of that mind. That is the relationship between Krishna and Arjun. Krishna is the heart of Arjun. That within you, which already knows, is Krishna. So, uh, good afternoon, sir. I am uh, I am Hushan, and I am studying in first year B Tech. So, my question was: in in one of the recent videos, you talk about like uh, that spirituality needs power. Like we will have to power, we will have to provide power to spirituality. So, I wanted to ask: what does that power mean? Is it that uh, we will have to means put in money to promote spirituality? And uh, the second question. Uh, in connection with this only is like uh, the foundation has also also started the ghar ghar upanishad initiative where they are distributing the free copies of sarva sar upanishad book so what effect does this book have on the on people's minds what is power power is the ability to cause quick change Even in physics, that's the way you define power, no? So change is needed and is needed real quick. That's why we need power. Don't you see we need change? And don't you see we don't have time? In that context, I have said I need power. So, sir, power, does power only mean money and fame or? Anything so, that can bring about change. And different people have different movers. The same handle does not work on everybody. So, whatsoever it is that moves a person must be used to move. We don't have time. So, you talked of money. Did you say money? Yes, sir. So, money, obviously money is very important. Don't you see money makes the whole thing move? It says that usually money makes the whole thing move in just the wrong direction. But if there are people who are habituated to being moved only by money, there is no option but to use money to move them. All your life, it is just fear that has moved you, fear and greed. And greed means money, one of the things. Hmm? So, you are habituated to having just one driver, fear and greed. No other driver works on you. I may come and utter the absolute truth to you. Presumably, it won't matter to you because you are not, you are not even available. You are not listening. You have hardly any faculty left for the truth. But the moment I make money talk, you will listen. And that's the reason why even a spiritual initiative requires lots of funds. Otherwise, merely the words would have sufficed. All I needed to do was have a website and put my things there and wake up next morning to find the world changed. Does it work that way? In fact, I need not even put my things on a website. There is already tremendously rich spiritual literature available. People before me have done a far better job than I ever will manage. Why have they not succeeded in preventing the world from coming to the place where it is? Is the Bhagavad Gita inaccessible? Is a copy of the Bhagavad Gita too expensive? 
are the Upanishads, secret documents. Why have the people not read them? Because there is a perception that reading them does not yield power. What will I get if I read the Bhagavad Gita? Why should I encourage my, my teenager to read the Gita? I would rather enroll him in an animation course or software course. That's what would empower him, no? empower him. Equally, the Bhagavad Gita is not coming to you from a point of power. In the sense, it is not a part of, let's say, the school and college curricula. Else you would have studied it, because you would then know that it has the backing of power. If you don't read it, you won't get the school certificate. If you don't get the school certificate, you will probably starve. Are you getting it? Even to bring the Gita to people, one requires power. Hmm? Remember the very setting in which the Gita was revealed. There are people with bows and arrows and maces and chariots and horses and swords and huge armies lined up. What does this setting exude? A sense of spiritual tranquility or a clash of powers? Yes? It's a clash of powers. Clash of powers. Krishna's teaching to Arjun would have not sufficed had Arjun not had an army without the bow and the arrow. Arjun is probably not even a deserving recipient of the Gita. Krishna is telling Arjun, fight. For that, Arjun must have the Gita and Arjun must have the Gandiv. What will the Gita do without the Gandiv? Gandiv is Arjun's bow. Would have become very irrelevant, no? Krishna is telling Arjun, fight. And Arjun has no army. Arjun has no weapons. How is Arjun going to fight? The Gita will still be tremendously beautiful, but powerless and therefore not useful. You are fidgeting a lot. Hmm? Yes. Something about it? So, sir, means I. So, my question is like, uh, will only money means to get the resources? We will need money. So, will we need only money or no? Not just money. We said different people, different drivers. Hmm? People care, for example, for great articulation. Therefore, I have to speak properly. Hmm? People do care for knowledge. Therefore, I have to come from a place of knowledge. I need to demonstrate that what I'm saying is not fictitious, imaginary, that it uh, corroborates with the fact on the ground. Hmm? So what is it, whatever it is that, that appeals to people has to be used in service of the truth. Yes, sir. So if we take example of money, like like many people are influenced due to money, like the power of money. So like to get this much money, like is even for the sake of truth, if you want to get the money to get the resources. So like means, uh, will we have to find ways to earn money, which are not exploited you like 
because in obviously 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 that's exactly that's 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 the challenge to have money and to have money through the right means hmm? you see an arrow is an arrow it can be shot either way it can come from krishna equally there were arrows shot at krishna do you understand the charioteer was a legitimate target in war it was not considered improper to kill the charioteer so from the core of army i am pretty sure there was a lot that was hurled at krishna to obliterate him it was well known that krishna is arjun's backbone and his heart without krishna the pandava army won't stand what are you using your arrow for money is a resource what are you using it for mostly we find it today being used for just the wrong purposes you talked of the upanishad initiative yes obviously we want to send the upanishad to 20 crore families in india and then abroad but at the going rate we won't reach anywhere near that number even in 10000 years it requires it requires copious funds how do i bring the upanishad to people maybe 20 crore is just too big a number maybe we need to find smarter ways yes obviously we need to find smarter ways just as money is a resource intelligence too is a resource use it in the service of truth so sir like will we have to means devise new ways to get that much bulk money because in today's world as per the framework means which is been made today to earn money we will have to somehow exploit people like no 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 that's that's not necessary please that's not at all necessary that money can come only through exploitation that's not true in fact uh, that's a very dangerous idea check it out because if you take this idea then you have already sold yourself off to all the wrong doers a very very cynical idea that if you are to succeed in life you must turn one of them no don't turn one of them you can succeed in life you can live a beautiful and admirable life even without belonging to them you won't starve if you lead a right life let me assure you and that's an understatement you can prosper maybe you won't have billions for yourself but then the right life anyway does not involve spending billions on yourself sir i was asking like to means even if we need money to uh, means for means distributing the upanishads so i'm not i'm not telling for myself like i will enjoy and i will get money and enjoy them but uh, to even, even distribute the upanishads we will need bulk money so we will need to find some yes that's what yeah that's what that's where work and application of intelligence is needed hmm? how to how to take this thing to every home to every individual hmm? and remember not everything needs to happen in a centralized way the work is important the worker is not maybe we need to 
inspire a thousand other agencies and nodes and individuals and organizations to take this up? Maybe it is too difficult if only one particular agency is doing it. What if there are 10,000 agencies? What if the government picks it up? We do not know how the future will unfold. What we know is that this thing needs to be done. Flowing water will find its own course. First of all, the, the, the glacier has to melt. That's a bad example to give in the age of climate change. Very, very bad example. So, sir, to uh, get uh, that much like resources, we will need like uh, very intelligent people. Obviously, I need lots of intelligent people to come and dedicate themselves to the right cause. Obviously, in fact, more than money, I require intelligent people to be here. The best of the minds, the cream of the world should be devoting itself to the right cause. What else is it the cream for? You say you are the best, you say you belong to the top one percentile, what for? To, to, to sell fizzy water, to sell shoes? to sell bonds and debentures and insurance policies. That's what your, your gifted intelligence is for. What are your brains for? So that you can, you can earn money for some MNC? I said for the MNC, not for yourself. Your own package is very small compared to what you bring to the MNC. Dedicate your gift to the right cause. You know? When I say gift, I am talking of the thing you are gifted with. Your brains, your IQ. So, sir, uh, we, we will have to use the same technology which the people mostly used to exploit. We will have to use the same Judiciously, technology. judiciously, discreetly. Obviously, when we are, we are uh, distributing the Upanishads, it's not something that has a huge carbon footprint, for example. And if it has a carbon footprint, I would like to learn and we'll modify the process. So, why will we use technologies that pollute or exploit or whatever? Why will we do that? It's a simple thing. Yes, sir, that made my point clear about power. Thank you. I hope, I hope this will keep you thinking. Huh? I hope this is leaving you with more questions than answers. The thought process has already started now. Great. Great. Okay, sir. Thanks. Wonderful.